my name is Brendan Martin, aka B Martin is my artist name. I'm a rapper, songwriter, and EDM vocalist, but I also run a company it's called Purpose Driven Entertainment, and it's mainly around marketing for musicians. Additionally, I have this studio where I songwrite and produce for artists occasionally as well. Uh, when I was a kid, there was this kid, Danny Matlin, who would always rap kind of in our neighborhood. And so I was looked up to him and started rapping, I think, in high school. And that led to me recording in high school and eventually going to college, recording all throughout college. And I started doing shows by the end of college. And right when I graduated, I decided I'd give it a year. And within that time, I won a T-Pain competition and got on his mixtape. So that kind of launched me into really taking it serious and where I am today. So my first experience with Apogee was the Duet 2, and it was great. I mean, to have this little machine that's so powerful and so clean, it was my friend Michael Mikowski, who's like a real big engineer. He's like, you gotta get this. This is the perfect thing for you at the level you're at. And I got it and I probably cut over a thousand records on it. And it was just every producer I sent vocals to, they were so happy, it was so smooth. So going from the two to the three, um, obviously, you know, I love the two, but the three just felt like it was a little richer, like it had more frequency band to play with, maybe a little warmth. Um, I actually was had an artist in town. And so he was here and we cut a record on the two. And then we moved to the three and he was flipping out. Like the sound difference actually really elevated it. Um, so that's been great, just the fact that it's more rich. And then we also have the control two there. And it's great to not only have the hands-on experience of the duet, but we have this control too that gives it more of a visual approach and I'm able to manually adjust the input gains and solos and mute. So it, it just gives it kind of a hands-on and a visual experience combined. That's great. My experience with the duet has been, I can throw plugins directly on the track. I have CLA vocals, which is a really heavy plugin. And I use the chamber reverb setting on that. I have auto-tune on the track, compressor and SSL EQ, and we're not experiencing any delay, any latency. Um, and artists are generally very happy with that. And that's another thing, like when you go into certain studios and there's latency and the engineer can't figure that out, that's just a nightmare. So another reason you should get your own studio so you can fix that problem and never deal with it again. But I haven't had any issues with latency on the duet. It's really solid and I can throw my plugins right in the session. So I do do some recording on the road. And what's great about the duet is how portable it is. I take it to my uh, one of my close friends and person I work with a lot, Lil Eddie, an amazing songwriter and producer. And I'll literally bring the Mac Studio, the keyboard, the mouse, the duet over to his place and just set up and lock in and it's up and running in a few minutes. So it's been great to have that portable nature of it as well. I think there's a lot of benefits to recording in a studio now that I have my own space, like actually going somewhere because you get another energy in the room, you get accountability, you know when you're gonna do it, you can prepare. When you have your own space, you can kind of get lost and I can do this whenever. And then that might mean you never do it or you're always doing it and not maybe there's not enough prep, you know, so there's a, definitely a balance, but having your own space really gives you the freedom to not have somebody there so you can hone in on your voice and hone in on your vocal take and take as much time as you want and get it perfect and experiment. And so I think for me, it's the part of the reason I was able to do EDM as well is because I was able to experiment on my own and see what sounded good on the mic without overthinking what other someone else was thinking going from rapping to never singing to now like actually singing. So my setup in my studio is pretty basic. It's mainly focused on, hey, are the acoustics right? Is the sound block, is it, you know, dead in here? And it is, I run into a Neumann into the duet and I don't have any, as we said before, compressor EQ that I'm running through. That way the sound is nice and dry and you know, utilize that great conversion of Apogee. Um, I'm running on a Mac Studio that way. If I'm doing a ton of plugins and a ton of vocal takes, I don't have to worry about that. I'm running Pro Tools Studio, newest version with a whole host of different plugins. I won't go into that, but keep it pretty straightforward. And I actually have all the sessions running on a Lacey, which you know I, I know isn't the best practice, but it's worked for me for like 10 years. So I just keep what's working, working. And that's another, another tip I'd give to anyone. If, if you have a team member who's doing something really good for you, don't try to move on to the next best thing. Lock in with them, deepen with them, strengthen that. If you have gear that's working for you, strengthen that. Like I, once something's working in the music space, don't mess it up because there's a little bit of magic in that and you need to honor that, capture it and keep fostering it.